So FND released a small Bluetooth speaker that looks very elegant and rectangular, and also it's the most portable speaker from FND. Also, FND managed to make it waterproof in the price range of thousand rupees only. So this video will help you make a purchase decision. Starting with the unboxing, in the box we have a cheap quality micro USB cable and the speaker itself and a user manual that no one needs. Let's talk about the build. The dimension of the speaker is 3 by 3.5 inches and fits perfectly in my hand. At the front the speaker is covered in some kind of fabric and around the speaker is made of plastic that wrapped in a slightly grippy silicone. At the top we have power button, play pause, volume up and down and a call receiver button. At the right we have a micro USB port, an auxiliary port, a LED light and a SD card slot which are covered by a flap to keep water out. Overall, the build quality seems nice. FND claims that it is a waterproof speaker, but they have not told us that uh, it's IP67 certified or not. Regarding battery life, FND claims up to 5 hours of playback time, and in my testing, leaving the speaker turn on with full volume, the speaker died in 2 hours and 4 minutes, and recharging it took about 1 hour and 30 minutes in my test. And the downside is that there is no battery indicator on the speaker but you can still see it on your phone in the notification bar. Pairing with the speaker is easy and no connectivity issue while playing music. Bluetooth range is 100 meters but it struggles if there is a wall in between. Also I had a lot of connectivity issue while dropping it into the water. Moving on to the sound quality, FND W5 is loud enough to play outdoors, the sound quality is not that good but looking at the price tag, it's more than acceptable. Bass is also great, overall looking at the size of the device and the price tag, there is nothing to complain about. By the way, here is the sound test. It's a waterproof speaker, but based on my testing, I would say it's splash proof. And yes, the water does get inside, and the speaker cannot be connected or paired with any device until it completely dries. And for me, it took about one and a half hours to completely dry the speaker and connect to the speaker again. After that, I had no issue with the connectivity. My overall experience with this speaker is that the speaker performed better than I expected. It cost only 1000 rupees 
and that's why I have to say this is the best Bluetooth speaker that you can get under thousand rupees. By the way, here are the pros and cons. So that's it for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below.